Trey Calloway. Adam Weissman. You got a minute? Of course I have a minute. All right, we have some fan questions from the Under the Microscope blog, hot off the presses. Nice. Uh, for you. Okay. So wondering if you could answer some of them. I will give it my best. All right, here you go. Okay. Fan questions for the blog, beginning with somebody named Dudenator. All right, Dudenator. Dudenator wants to know how the decision to kill or eliminate a character is made. How do we decide to kill or eliminate a character? Well, it basically comes down to two scenarios, dude, Nader. There's planned and there's unplanned, right? Planned is the one that we prefer as writers and producers because uh, basically that means, as we've done many times in the past, we've got an idea in mind uh, for introducing a character and, uh, and we want to then take the opportunity to maybe over a single episode or over multiple episodes start to introduce that idea, plant the seeds of who that character is so that you can, as an audience, you can become invested in them before we either take them off in cuffs or put them six feet under. Unplanned is one of those things that happens in life and it happens in Hollywood as well where for any number of a myriad of reasons uh, we have to say goodbye to an actor or actors and, um, and when those situations arise uh, hopefully we get enough of a heads up that we can sort of try and uh, juggle the balls a little bit story-wise, um, but in any rate, what we always try to do is is craft some kind of exit for the character or weave that character's absence into the fabric of the show in a way that's going to hopefully satisfy people like you, Dude Nader. Major Hutch, Runner 43 and Future CSI 88 are asking about wardrobe and hair decisions. Are they driven by the actor's vision of the character, the writers, the costume department, or some combination therein. You know, look, every actor's job is to emote, and, uh, and that means they got to feel what they're doing, and that includes how they look and how they sound, and so we work very closely with the actors to sort of maintain a, a comfort level for their character, uh, and then uh, in turn we work very closely with our very talented wardrobe and uh, uh, and hair and makeup professionals uh, on the crew to make sure that everybody uh, is content with where we're at. So it's not really ever as simple as one actor saying, hey, I want to have dreadlocks in this episode. It's really about what makes sense for the character. Pikachu wants to know if we can expect any intense gun battles in episodes to come. Oh my god, Pikachu, have I got an episode for you. Uh, actually, episode 721, which airs uh, on May 6th, is probably one of the most action-packed episodes, definitely one of the most action-packed episodes of the season, probably one of the most action-packed episodes of the entire seven-season run. Many, apparently, Adam is telling me that many, many fans... Many fans? ...have asked about Danny and Lindsay. I can tell you, as, as one of the writers, it's great fun to write around that relationship. You know, we've always got all this heavy lifting to do in terms of uh, a body with a question mark and the, and the mystery and the investigation and the science that goes behind CSI New York. But uh, what the extra added bonus you get as a writer is when you've got characters like Danny and Lindsay who've got this great relationship and then of course got their daughter Lucy. Uh, they give you other more colorful things to write about as well in the mix. So we take that very seriously and we greatly appreciate your enthusiasm for their relationship and for the Danny, Lindsay, Lucy family and, uh, and so rest assured we will do everything we can to sort of continue that. So stay tuned because Danny and Lindsay and Lucy ain't going anywhere. Okay, Farah Hayam is asking I hope I got that right, uh, is asking if we can expect a future together for Camille and Hawks. Yes, indeed. This season we were definitely going to try and introduce uh, a little bit of uh, romantic chemistry for uh, Sheldon Hawks, performed beautifully by Hill Harper. And uh, so we did that uh, through Leslie Ann Brandt, lovely, talented actress who, who portrays Camille Jordanson. And um, she was introduced earlier this season in an episode, uh, and they have sort of the past and that they grew up together. But uh, their relationship sort of uh, kicks off in earnest in episode 719, which will air on April 8th. Besides, I'm a trained nurse, remember? Mm -hmm. Anything goes wrong. No. I know. No. No. You do? Yeah. 
Okay, I think that's all the time we have for questions, but thank you so much to all of you who submitted them, and most of all, on the behalf of our uh, executive producer and showrunner, Pam Dusay, along with the rest of the writing staff and our entire cast and crew, uh, thank you so much for watching this Season 7. We're really proud of what we've accomplished, and we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Thank you.